Hello and welcome back to episode 7 of Getting Started with Attributes in Houdini. This is Arise Works, and in this video, we will see how to create um, attributes, how to scatter using the attributes um, wherever attributes appear. We will be using scatter and how to paint an attribute and you know use the hand painted at hand painted areas to scatter our things. So let's get started. Um, as per usual, we drop the geometry node and this time around, I think we will be okay with the grid. Let's make it 50 by 50 just for starters. And uh, we drop another attributes VOP node. And first we will begin with using just the noise. As per usual, uh, we take any noise we want. I think this time around, I think we will be good with foreign noise noise. I want some kind of cellular pattern going on. So P for position and distance one into the color. And uh, well, pretty much already everything is fine. I think we will uh, decrease the scale and increase the amount of resolution in our grid so we can, uh, you know, see in more resolution our attribute. So finally, we create, um, let's say a sphere, and we are going to copy uh, spheres onto our grid. If we do the copy to points, you will now see that uh, basically for each point on the grid, we will, cop uh, we will have a copy that is a sphere, but I don't really want to do that. Uh, what I want to do is first scatter. So when we scatter on the point, uh, well, basically what scatter does, uh, we discussed it previously, but uh, let's touch upon this uh, for a second once more. Uh, what scatter does, and it randomly scatters points. Uh, if you increase the relaxed iterations, it will be uh, scattered um, more or less with the same density. If we decrease the relaxed uh, iterations, it will be more as you can see, more chaotic. However, uh, changing the like the total amounts and whatnot, what I wanna do now is whenever our attribute is lower, there will be less uh, copies and wherever our attribute is higher, in our case, a brighter, uh, brighter um, value of one from, one to, from zero to one, in our case, color. So wherever it will be black, there will be less points scattered. So how do we do that? Uh, pretty straightforward. We, in the, in the scatter, uh, we can generate by density, as you can see, and the density attribute will be not density in our case. In our case, um, as you might have already guessed, it will be the CD attribute, the column. So if I write the CD and I enable a scatter, as you can see immediately, um, I will do number of relaxed iterations so they are spaced out more evenly and increase the total amount the darker the the dots the less amounts of copies are being distributed over there so i'll decrease uh, amount quite a bit decrease the relaxed iterations so it's kind of a bit more um spaced out randomly uh, enable pack an instance so it kind of uh, does the thing faster and as you can see we now have our spheres copied but not in such a fashion that wherever it was black we have less copies okay so this is useful now what we're going to do next is actually take our grid you know what let's just make a copy uh, we'll take our grid and uh, pretty much same-ish setup, but in this case, we will actually hand paint our attribute. So attribute paint is the node that you want. And if you just select it and press enter, you will immediately enter the painting mode. Uh, if you scroll up and down the uh, middle mouse, you will uh, increase or decrease the radius of paints. And let's say, let's 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 write something like great 
right? Okay, uh, so uh, it paints in such a way uh, that it creates a mask uh, attribute, and uh, the more red the attribute is, uh, the more pronounced the attribute will be. So geometry spreadsheet. Whoops. Wait, what's happening? Okay, uh, geometry spreadsheet. It it somehow it disables the. Um, the, show, the showing of this. So we have this mask attribute, as you can see, and somewhere if we, uh, it goes from one to zero, and as you can see, zero is pretty much uh, almost all of our geometry, and uh, only about 20% of our geometry has some attribute that is masked. So basically, uh, the more red the attribute looks like, the more dense our copies will be. So again, we scatter, and the attributes, uh, it will be not density, but in our case, it will be mask. I'll delete the density. And as you can see, immediately we have our results. Uh, maybe I'll just increase the amount of copies or space out them more evenly. Uh, again, another copy to points. Points to copy two. This time around, let's have boxes because why not? And if we make our boxes smaller, there you go. We hand painted our attributes, and this immediately has the results. So there you go. Um, this is how you paint attributes. And by the way, if we live paint it, you will see that we immediately have our results. So this is this is kind of interesting, right? So uh, basically, you can also have attribute from map. And uh, using the scatter, you can read the color from the attribute from map and scatter based on the texture that you imported from somewhere. So this is kind of, you know, a lot of a lot of ways to play around this uh, from noise, right? Let me just make it a little bitter, a little smaller. I'm sorry. Uh, based on the noise, based on our paints, and based, of course, on attribute import or any other information be it color or anything else uh, you can scatter and copy things based on that so again attributes super useful uh, really interesting effects really fast without lots of effort and there you go hopefully you learned more about attributes uh, be sure to like the video if you like what you've seen uh, if you have questions suggestions don't hesitate to leave the comments in the comments section and you know, if you don't want to miss anything else new about Houdini or anything else 3D, uh, not just Houdini, we'll talk about many, many other things going forward. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Hopefully you'll have a nice day and I hope to see you in the next videos. Thanks for watching and goodbye.